Today we're making a pine cone for the Christmas tree and we're going to decorate it with white paint. We're going to need scissors, ribbon, and of course pine cones. So first just open your paint, use a paintbrush with the flat small bristles at the top and it should be a fairly clean pine cone. You can get these at the florist of course, you can go look um, and find them by a pine tree. You can sometimes find them in craft stores, too. I actually got them walking by a man who sells flowers, and he had a bunch of pine cones in a bag. So I'm just going around with white paint, and the idea is it's supposed to look like snow. So you want to make it kind of thick, so it looks like snow is sitting on the top of the pine cone. And just go around, you're going to start at the top and work down to the bottom because this way you don't get your hands all messy with paint. You could put down some newspaper, but this is washable paint and it's actually not too messy. And just work all the way around going from top to bottom and filling in the crevices. You don't have to do underneath because the snow doesn't stick to the underneath of the pine cone. So just go around, fill in some of the gaps. If you miss a spot you can come back, but it's alright because in, in nature not every part of the pine cone has snow on it, so it looks fine if you don't have it completely filled in. You could also, for fun, just do it in different colors. It could be just whatever colors you like. So this one looks a little more natural, but you could make it in any color you like. The other thing that's neat to do is once you finish painting it, you'll, you could sprinkle some salt on top of it and it gives it kind of a shiny look. So sprinkle salt, let it dry, and then you can shake off the loose salt. And at the end, I'll show you an example of one I did with salt. So it'll stick to the paint. That one you might want to use a little thicker coat so it'll stick a little better. You could also use coarse salt, which is even bigger type of salt. Sometimes it's hard to find. But this one I just want to keep simple, so I'm just going to paint it white. And then I'm going to put the red ribbon on. So I'm almost done, just finishing up around the bottom. Like I said, you probably want to let it sit and dry for half an hour to an hour, depending on how much paint you put on it. So let's set it down wipe off my hands and then we're going to put the ribbon on the one I dried so this one I did yesterday it's completely dry and move the paint out of the way and here's the one that's dried so we need a pretty long piece because you're going to tie it around the pine cone and then you have to tie a knot at the end so I don't know about foot to a foot and a half. Depends on how big the pine cone is too. So that's pretty long. I didn't probably need this much, but it's okay. So just go around closer to the top, wherever you can stick the ribbon around and it'll it won't fall off. And then just make a knot. Go over and under. Pull it tight so it gets in there nice and snug. Tie the knot. You could also use like a silk ribbon, which looks really pretty. I'll show you an example of that too. And now that I've got it tied on the pine cone, I'm just going to make a knot 
up here so we can loop it together and then we can hang it on the tree. So here's one and two. And now we pull it tight on all sides. And now you've got a loop at the top. So this is a little too much ribbon, so I'm going to cut that off. And you can see. Now you can hang it easily on the tree. You could even make a little name tag, you know, like a, a little card that says your, your name or Merry Christmas or the year. Here's the examples of the pine cones that have the ribbon, the silk ribbon, and these have all dried. Behind it, you can see the one with the colors on it. And you can put it on, like even go back and put a second coat if you like to make it really white. This is the one with the salt on it, so you can see how it looks more clumpier, like clumps of snow. So if you want to see more fun crafts, go to Duck Duck Goose Fun on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.